this online tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys exactly how to become a digital nomad and how you can make money as a digital nomad. So let's jump right into this. So of course, what is a digital nomad? Now, essentially, a digital nomad is a person who moves from place to place and they're able to actually work remotely and travel at the same time. So essentially what this is, is this is a location independent business. And this means that you have the freedom to be wherever you want and you're not tied to a specific location and you can work from a variety of different places. So essentially you can live and work on your own terms while experiencing new cultures and the way of life. Now, of course, this is a bit different to what the standard nine to five is, because of course, as you know, people have a very standard way of living where they work in offices, but being a digital nomad means that you literally just need your laptop and you can be working in literally the Cayman Islands. You could be working in the Caribbean. You could be working in Cyprus, pretty much anywhere that you want to, and you're able to do that. So how do we get started to becoming a digital nomad and what is the fast track path in order to start that step-by-step -step process in order to travel and actually be able to live that luxury look at what you need to do so number one you need to actually identify your skills and interests the reason I've put this as number one is because if you don't know what your interests are, then you don't know what your strengths are. A lot of us have many different strengths and a lot of different interests, and this is essentially what is going to be our guide. Now, there are many different lucrative ways to make money as a digital nomad, and some may be more lucrative than others, but if you do have certain skills and certain interests, then this may actually allow you to utilize your skills better than you think. For example, if I was someone who was heavily interested in photography, then I may be able to utilize my photography editing skills in starting a photography editing kind of business if i was someone who was very interested in for example tiktok and i browse social media all day and i wanted to become a digital nomad then potentially i could use this knowledge of the social media app to then start my own social media marketing agency on tiktok if for example i was interested in looking at charts all day maybe i was looking into crypto then there was many different ways that i could monetize that specific niche and interest the point i'm making here guys is you need to write down exactly what it is that you're interested in remember you're going to be traveling and you're going to be working at the same time you don't want to have some kind of job or some kind of industry that definitely you hate you're definitely going to want to pick something that you enjoy so write down your skills maybe you can take pictures maybe you have a previous history of being able to write maybe you have some interest in certain things but just make sure you know exactly what that is so when it comes time to market your skills you know exactly where you stand that you're going to want to do here is exactly what you're probably doing now if you're watching this video it's likely that you're going to be looking at what other people have done now i find this very very good because other youtubers always document exactly what they've done as you guys can see right here matt diavelia has this video one year as digital nomads what we've learned and of course as you guys can see this person here has sorrel a more finance has five pros and cons of being a digital nomad so of course you may want to watch these kinds of videos because they highlight the pros and cons and they highlight some things that you may not actually understand now i myself do have a location independent business and i understand that, that building your own location independent business isn't easy but as long as you do the right steps that i teach you in this video then it's going to be a lot easier than running around and having to learn it the hard way so definitely make sure that you look at others that have done it as well and if you can look at someone that's in this specific niche for you so for example if you're in in sales and you want to be doing sales then definitely make sure you find someone who is doing the sales calls or whatever and is a digital nomad if you're in someone that is into youtube maybe someone that finds youtube channels and grows them or someone that does social media marketing agencies if you want to do social media marketing and is a digital nomad you can use places like twitter and instagram to find all of this stuff and that's going to help you the most because you're going to be able to see firsthand what kind of things they're doing the places that they're traveling because certain residences and certain places do have it better the next thing that you want to do also is you want to determine your target market the reason you need to be able to do this is because you need to understand exactly who you're going to be marketing to being a digital nomad is more just about running a business online and having that business thrive whilst you travel to different countries you're going you're likely going to have an online presence now when you have your online presence that could be maybe an instagram profile that could be maybe a twitter profile that could be maybe a youtube profile and what you need to do is you need to be able to understand how to market to them so for example if i was going to start my online digital nomad journey i would need to think about who my customers are going to be essentially because when i'm going to be online when i'm going to be making my content when i'm going to be marketing that kind of content in order to drive sales to whatever businesses that it is i need to be able to see what my target customers are in terms of my actual business and in terms of those who i can attract to my lifestyle business because that is something that i need to be so for example if i was a male and i was traveling the world and let's say for example i was perhaps 30 years old i know that my lifestyle is going to be appealing to those perhaps maybe 20 to 40 years old because if i'm traveling 
traveling the world, then other men in my position who are younger than me and some who are older than me are probably idealizing the lifestyle of being traveling around. So perhaps probably even now that I think about it, probably younger men. Okay, so that is definitely going to be something. So if I was a 30 year old man, I probably realized that maybe 18 to 24 year olds are going to be my target market. So if I was traveling and around and I wanted to get some more customers for my business or get people to follow me, so it increases traffic, I would then, for example, what is this genre interested in? 18 to 24 year olds, they're interested in luxury cars. So maybe I might go to a picture place in a certain country or certain residencies and take pictures of certain cars or may even rent these cars to drive more traffic and sales to certain businesses. For example, if I was a woman, maybe certain women value traveling and they value more scenic things. They value more luxury things. They value things that, you know, are very more relaxing. So in terms of my marketing, I'm going to be taking pictures of pools. I'm going to be taking pictures of all those kinds of things with that lifestyle kind of business. So you need to understand who your target customer is. That way you can craft your audience and craft everything perfectly to fit your kind of business and this is something that people do miss because it's something that is very needed so now what you also need to do as well is you need to choose a business model now this is going to be the most important part okay because depending on the business model you choose will depend on the kind of work you do for example if you're going to be doing freelancing or content creation you need to figure out whether or not there's going to be blogs whether or not there's going to be courses whether or not there's going to be videos so there's many different ways to fulfill freelance writing or content creation. You could also do social media management and you need to think about also what you need to think about is that if you're traveling a lot, you need to think about time zones because of course some people, some clients are going to be in different countries and of course you might need to get on a weekly call to be able to get with them. So you need to be able to think, okay, if I'm going to be dealing with customers in the USA, I need to think, okay, if I'm going to be traveling to perhaps, you know, Australia or something, maybe that's not going to be good to be dealing with UK clients because of course if I go to Australia, the time zones are completely opposite it and getting on a call would be nearly impossible so you need to think about the time zones for your businesses for example e-commerce is very time zone free which means you don't really need one graphic design is also time zone free so my social media management and running an agency isn't time zone free so choose a business model that is going to be the least time zone free meaning that you can do it at any time during the day and that one that most ties into your original skill set and this is going to be the most important part there are many different business models and i'm going to be providing a list on the many different businesses that are suited for digital nomads based on their lifestyle this is something that you do want to do me personally i would say the best ones are going to be blogging and content creation and perhaps maybe something like graphic design and e-commerce those are the ones that i know personally that people do travel quite a lot and they do pretty well anything that involves you just writing on a laptop such as you know blog design simple writing jobs so those are the ones that are going to be most effective and definitely course creation as well because you're able to be going to market yourself in a very marketable way but because of course you're going to be traveling all the time. This is a very important part that people miss. And what you're gonna to need to do is you're going to create your website and link tree. Now, you don't need to do this in order to be someone that creates a digital nomad lifestyle, but this is very, very effective. Now, the reason you want to have a personal brand, okay, and the reason you want to have a link tree is because this is where you're going to have everyone following you. The reason you want to have more followers is because if you have more followers, if you, for example, want to create a course on how you're able to live a digital nomad lifestyle and sell it, for example, $29, that is going to be something that is going to give you even more freedom. Perhaps if you're running a social media marketing agency and you wanted to sell a course for $150, you need a personal brand and you're going to need that audience and that is what the link tree is for and that way you're not just creating a business and traveling the world you're able to travel the world document your process and then from documenting your process you're able to drive new sales into that business which is going to be even better okay and that's why i say finding a specific business or finding a way to document this is going to be even better for you and even better for everyone else now of course like i was just saying the most important of this is you're going to be able to market your business now you do not need to underestimate the efforts that marketing can take you because if you are marketing on tiktok marketing on twitter or on youtube or instagram this will drive 10 times more sales now when i say market your business if you are someone that's going to be traveling or planning on traveling you can definitely use those travel pictures to increase the amount of sales that you get or simply collect leads now if you're just starting out i would recommend twitter the reason i recommend twitter is because every other platform like instagram youtube and tiktok are very time intensive in order for you to post a tiktok yes for some people you might just want to record a quick video but for some people they might not want to get on camera same goes for youtube and the same goes for instagram so for twitter you can simply just tweet 140 characters and start earning your income as long as you have a digital product and you can start building that brand as long as you have a valuable insight to give people so this is definitely going to be your starter and from 
from Twitter, you can definitely build on other platforms. So if you make a Twitter account, you can then start a YouTube channel or you can then link to your TikTok or you can then link to your Instagram. It's much harder for you to use your TikTok and convert that to Twitter viewers or for example, to go to YouTube to Twitter. So I would start on Twitter if possible because it's able to be able to document your entire journey and it's definitely a very easy platform to start on.